Jehová Yahweh Alpha. Your name is Yahweh Yahweh. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift our voice and appreciate him for bringing us to the 11 month. Lift your voice and thank him. He has kept you alive. He has kept me alive. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. You slept and you are woke. Jesus sustained you. Blessed be his name. Thank you, Father, for sustaining us as a people, as individuals, as a ministry. We appreciate you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hala dule prone shi si zaro wakala visas. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Pick your Bibles, please. And it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month of the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. After he had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorite, which dwelt in, in Hishbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Astaroth in Idrei, on this side of Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, Say, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorite, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the valley, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanite, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, say behold. Behold means come aware. Behold means see. Behold is the word idol. It means 
come to consciousness understand know this thing behold i have set the land before you go in and possess the land which the law swear unto your fathers abraham isaac and jacob to give unto them and to their seed after them verse 21 behold the lord thy god has set the land before thee go up and possess it as the lord god of thy fathers has said unto thee fear not neither be discouraged moses spoke all this word to them in 11th month on the first day of the month i stand here as one of the Moseses. the great plan of god for you for the year 2020 never think that it is it has expired never whatever god said concerning you for 2020 he said go ye and possess it because the land is for you i welcome you to your month of possessions Hallelujah. in the name of jesus christ i welcome you to your month of possessions when god spoke to me this month will be success codes i didn't i didn't look at the scripture no not at all i didn't welcome to your month of possessions hallelujah Hadavaya. alpha and omega taya Jurare la re ara ara, ho ma le la re la ra re 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 ra 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 re ra re ra 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 re ra ra re ra re ra re, ho la ra re ya re la re, ma la ma lo ma le la re la ra re ya le ya, ma le ma lo la re la re la re, ma le la lo la re ya la re. I have set the land before you. I have set the job before you. I have set the business before you. I have set your desire before you. They say, go and possess it. It means all the forces of hell that will make you not to possess, they have been dealt with. Then after he has slain Sihon, the Ammonite, and the king of Hishbon, Og, Bible said, he said, go and possess. You don't possess until the barrier is clear. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will tell strange stories this month. You will be telling strange stories this month. You shall be saying strange stories this month. Amen. Our family online, you shall be saying strange stories this month. Amen. By reason of his great possession, you shall be telling strange stories this month. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice. Father, the month of November is my month of possessions. Let it answer for me. Lift your voice and pray for yourself. Online, on ground, lift your voice and pray for yourself. It is my month of possessions. Halabane katozanash. Hele kora basizono, Paris kona matosenos, zizara ketagas, lacrades, lofrandes, Paris kona mo la bari kola dos, le kreto fenoma zisono menes, zizara kela bo chakra de solo malish. Lift your voice and pray boldly, pray boldly, pray boldly. Your desire is set before you. I say go and possess, go and possess. Kana mo la bete sali borakitanas sali kole parigonatis zaklori solo mane kalebatata ye maya kaye maye kola sali borakitenos helado la de 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 la de
Hallelujah. It's our amount of possessions. 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 As individuals, as a ministry, our amount of possessions. We shall possess strength things this month. Hede Makatago Sisoro. Hola Bronde Sheri Kalaboska. On the power and the authority of Jesus, we shall possess strength in this month. Thank you, Father. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare the month of November open for you as your month of possessions. I declare the month of November open as your month of possessions. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you have been stretching to get from January till October that you couldn't get, in this month of possessions, they shall enter your hand. They shall enter your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Please slap your hands up with Jesus. And have your seat in heavenly places. Glory to God. You are Yahweh. Hanakada. Allah In a me na do ali aba Ali mo na me na ne adu aba e Shavrando me le vreni la do adi abe la do malade E la de la la de ade Allo vale bala de ade ala de E mali na do malada de ade Hagala de ade mola de ada de ade ada you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh, Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are my Yahweh. Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are If I follow you, I won't preach today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm, please, don't tempt me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Holy Ghost, we look up to you for a visitation today. Let your word come with power and authority. You call it the month of possession. And you are taking us on a journey of success. Let it speak in everyone's life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Success quotes. Many people, when they see this thing, they do not come to Destiny Sunday. Because uh, in their mind, uh, I, so what is success? Leave that thing for old people. Praise God. But then, what you do whilst you are young is what you do when you keep growing. Um, Ninety percent of the time, if you start feeling as a habit whilst you are young, you will keep feeling when you are old. 90% of the time until you change your approach to life. And what I, even if you are old, you have to learn these things we are learning now. Yes. So, age doesn't mean success. You don't say now because I'm 90, automatically I should succeed. You know, I should succeed not naturally. There's nothing natural about success. It's not natural. If it's natural, just everybody could be successful. 
but there is nothing natural automatic about success that your father is successful does not mean automatically you succeed no no that you come from a family of successful men and women doesn't mean automatically you succeed bill gates children can be failures they can become failures praise god so these things must be learned whether you learned it early or learned it late at night you must still learn it to succeed so the best thing to do is to learn it early in life there are some things i've known now i wish i knew it some 10 years back yeah man i would have been a superman so even if you are old even if you are 200 years and you still want to succeed you must learn these things you are learning in this month they are lot. they are not after the, i don't teach my creations no i teach discoveries discoveries from god and from the stories of men because anytime anytime an action repeats itself over time then a pattern of behavior is established for instance you can swear on your life that sunday you see me in Destiny Sunday. Abi, you can swear, you can vow. If I go, I'll see him there. Why? Consistency of that action has established a pattern of behavior. That's how it is. My life is a very linear life. Very linear. If I'm not at, in my house, I'm here, or I'm somewhere, you know, preaching or doing something. You can't find me anywhere, anywhere else. So anytime an action is repeated over time, then a pattern of behavior is established. So these things, success has actions. If those actions repeat in the life of some people over time, consistency of those actions and those uh, character traits establishes a pattern of behavior. That if you want to get these, these are the patterns. Why? These, 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 these people have gone through it and then you can see that their success has this string of behavior through all of them. So those who don't learn, I don't know when they want to succeed in life. You sit at home and uh, eat very big bowl of fufu. Uh, drink cook on top of it. And bet, uh, uh, life is good. Where is you with Samsung? <laughs> to ever succeed, you must learn how to. Ecclesiastes 10 15. The labor of the fool, the effort of the foolish. You know, a fool, a fool is not without knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. A fool is not without knowledge. So, the effort, effort of the ignorant man. Wearied him. It makes him tired. He goes round, round in circles. Ecclesiastes 10:15. He 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 wastes energy over time. Simple reason. He doesn't know how to. So there is a how to do everything. You can't look up and say, now that I'm not, now that I'm 35, I should know how to drive automatically. Now that I'm 35, men, I should be driving. So, oh yeah, come on, I should know how to drive. So, just enter the car and just start driving. Abby? Uh, if police catch you, if you will me reach where police is. Because you will die on the way. There is nothing automatic. So, people think that, okay, now come on, cook what is cooking. Cooking, don't just put food together in the morning and cook it. Try it and see, you will cook poison. That's why they cook and people can eat. Only they can eat. I've warned someone never to go for me to eat. <laughs> Praise God. Because there is nothing automatic in life. Wash, you have to learn it. And that only you can wash your own clothes and wear your own things. If you will spend four years in university studying something you may never use in your life. You see, 
Averagely, we spend 18 years in school in this system. Averagely. If, if you don't repeat any class. If you don't repeat a, if you repeat a class, then you know what it means for you. <laughs> Averagely, we spend 18 years in school. Averagely, 18, 20, yeah. Now, you spend 18, 20 years studying something what makes you think that you don't need to study how to succeed? There is no faculty of success. You will never go to any university anywhere and see faculty of success. It doesn't exist. So you can be an accountant, but if, if you don't know how to succeed, you will fail. You can be an engineer. You've studied engineering for four years, so yes, thank you. But if you don't know how to succeed as an engineer, you will fail. You can, you can be called of God as a man of God if you don't know how to succeed as a man. So success is a catalyst that cuts across every dispensation of life. You can be sent to school as a, as a, as a child. If you don't know how to succeed as a student, you will fail. Success is not something you just, okay, come on, it's when I got that money. It's not money. At my level, I am succeeding. Oh, yes, of course. At my level. What am I saying? Success is something everybody needs. If you don't know how to be a successful father, you'll be a failure father. You must learn how to succeed as a husband, as a wife. You must learn how to succeed as a teacher. A teacher's success is not in getting salary from Ghana government. Or moving from Keda to Keda. Okay, I'm not principal, principal one. Principal uh, teacher two, principal teacher three. Those are all rubbish. Uh, the success of a teacher is raising students of A-class stature. So you must learn how to be a successful teacher. You can be a good teacher. No, Allah. Are you a successful teacher? You must learn how to be a successful friend in relationships. You learn it. So success cuts across everywhere. It's not okay. It's not automatic. It's not only in business. It's not only in career. No. You must learn how to live a successful life in all sphere of human endeavor. Success. So when you say success, people think about money. It's not money. It's not money. It's not business. Meanwhile, you know, where we stand here in Destiny Sunday, you know, that is the central uh, I don't call it theme of it. But it cuts across everywhere. Everywhere. It is after you are successful at a thing that money follows. You, 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 you are not successful because money comes. Money is a product of your success. Yes. Success is not an aftermath of money coming. No. Money coming is an aftermath of your... So you must be successful to have money. You don't have money to be successful. You must be successful to be great. You are not great to be successful. No. Success is not the end result. No. It's the means to the end. I'm, I'm trying to do, format your brain now. Success is not the end. Is the means to the end. That brings success to the middle equation. Success is not the answer. It's a formula. <laughs> success is not the answer. Success is the formula. So if you don't have the formula called success, you can't achieve anything worthwhile in life. That is why you learn it. Those days when negative B plus or minus B square is it minus 4AC all over 2A. Almighty formula. Man, we wrote it everywhere. Because she must know it by heart. All those rubbish they taught us. We didn't, I'm just quoting that for my it's not doing anything to me. See, uh, we must learn it, cram it by heart. Why? 
That is the formula. Success is the formula. Success is not the product. It's not the answer. So they say, okay, uh, success is the, f- you, you see, your success is not seen after you have gotten some things. Your su- so they say, okay, now, what do you have to teaching success? They lack understanding. Success is not the end result of anything. It's a formula. When you have the formula, you are sure the end result. So you don't accumulate things to be successful. You are successful to attract things. Success attracts material possessions. I'm confusing everybody here. Ayako Malika. You see, you know what you know what happened right now? I did a different introduction. That means I have to skip in writing in a book in my notes. So I won't do the again. Let me jump straight to something else. I don't know how come I uh, I got to a different route. Oh, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Now, so success is not the outcome of anything. You are not successful because you have first class in school. No. You are not a successful student because you have first class. No. First class is only a recognition that you have been successful as a student. First class is only a recognition that you have been successful, have been successful as a student. So your success as a student is in your approaches to the thing. So you can see your success before you can succeed before you see the end. So when a man carries this thing called success inside him, you know what happens? He he he, he lives a restful life. He lives a life of a short guarantee. You are sure of the end. Why? Success is here. So success is not an end result. It's not okay. Uh, uh, I'm a success. You know why? The input I'm making to ministry, I know I'm a success. I know. The end result is just to say that is the end result people see. Oh, he's successful. No, I have been successful from the day I began making input. I'm a success at finance. I mean, uh, uncountable millions. You say, where is it? No. The input I'm making today into my financial future is what makes me a success. When the billions and the trillions start rolling in, it's only to show you people, no, oh, he's successful. Oh, no, I have been successful since. You were a late comer. You see, what I've just given in this 10 15 minutes, if you enter, you will have close. You will walk with your head up high. Hiya. You will walk with utmost confidence because you are a success. Success is determined by the formula you operate, not the end. If you wait for the end, you will never, ever, ever, ever rejoice in your life. You will never, ever, 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 ever appreciate the fact that there's something good about your life. Success is not the end result of anything. It's the process to the end. Financially speaking, career-wise, everything-wise, is the process. Now, what are the codes of success? Now, we must understand that we have been destined for successful living. Successful living. By God's standard. That makes success an everyday experience for us. Proverbs 4 18. He said, The path of the justified, the just man, is as a shining light. It shines more and more and more. So you you know your success is a daily living, it's not a destination. You see, it's not, it's not an end result, it's the process to the end. It's not a de- it's an adventure perpetually. 
you keep succeeding as you're going every day. Every day. Every day you wake up in success over death. Oh, yes, of course. Every day you sleep and you wake up a success over death. You have succeeded in life by waking up. Every oxygen you breathe is success. People don't see these things. Every hand you lift and drop it at your own instance is success. You put food in your mouth and swallow is success in your health. Somebody put it, couldn't go. Why? He failed. Him. So you say his health has failed him. Success is not the end of anything. It's the process to the end. 2 Corinthians 3.18, it says, We all behold him as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. We are changed from one level of glory. So this is the process. One level of glory to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other. So you don't wait to have some things by the world standard before you call yourself a success. You don't. You don't. You are a success at your own level success. Now, what is the first and I'm talking to believers. You know, whatever we discuss in Destiny Sunday is respect to the kingdom of God. So I talk to believers. I'm not sent to the believers, sir. That's not my assignment. I'm sent to the kingdom of God, to the body of Christ. So I speak to believers. To who? Believers. So the foundation of salvation, you know, all those kind of things must be is laid. So if you're not born again, what I'm saying will not apply to you. It may not apply to you. You may learn lessons from that. It does not apply to you. Because there's a spiritual connotation that you may miss. What is the first primary key of success or code of success is the mentality code. The mentality code. I'll do three codes today, so Rush. We'll do many, many codes this month. Many, many codes. So, uh, receive grace to box it together. I may not talk too much. Praise God. Hallelujah. The mentality code. Your mentality defines your actuality. You will not become what you think. You are what you think. You will never become what you think. You are what you think. They say, as he thinks, so is he. Not so will he become. Proverbs 23, verse 7. As he thinks, so is he. Not so will he become. You don't become what you think. You are what you think. Which means your thoughts is an outpouring of who you are. You can only think from the deposit of your being. You don't think abstractly. There must be a deposit on which you are thinking from. You see, there is no smoke without fire. So the smoke is a product of the fire. So there is no thought without a being. There is a deposit from which you are thinking. Thoughts are a product of deposit inside you. The going on inside you. Thoughts are the product of the going on. Whatever is going on inside that's from where you think. So Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The thought, the mind also thinks. So your thoughts, so just says, just watch somebody thinking. It will tell the kind of person the person is. Yes. Your thought betrays who you are. Your thought betrays who you are. So, the success code of mentality postulates that you must have a deposit of success product inside you from there you produce your success mentality if you don't capture a success mentality
mentality. You have lost the formula for success. You have lost it. You have lost it. So you must have that code of mentality. If whatever you don't see yourself as you are, you are never. You know how we were shouting then when nothing was nothing. Oh, people of God, go to our own messages, you hear them. You can never make me feel inferior. No, 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 no. As anointed as you are, you can never make me feel inferior. Nobody has ever tried it. And nobody will try it. That I see you, then I begin to, oh, what they poor me. Ah, never. Because my system is choked with success thoughts. So, what about you? Know, I just, you know, Eben, how are you? I say, I'm on top of the world. He say, ah, doing what they are. <laughs> he say, I'm doing what they are. I say, I'm just on top of the world. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. You will never ask me how you hear something like, oh, Charlie, now wow. He say, lie. I'm on top of the world. I'm enjoying myself. Ah, I'm enjoying grace. I is a family. We are enjoying the grace of God. It's a mentality. How are you? Ah, Charlie. Now so, now so. Now so the team day. This kind of thing, eh? Mm, you know Ghana. Ah, I don't live in Ghana, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> this boy doesn't live in Ghana. No, I only operate in Ghana. But he has raised me far above principalities and powers and made me to sit in heavenly places. Oh boy! Heavenly places far above Ghana. Far above Africa. Far above the globe. So I think from my realm, one day I told somebody that we operate from two different generations. <laughs> It's not because I'm too older than a person. No. Thought pattern. If you don't cultivate success mentality, no matter what you accumulate, you will not you you still you are still a failure. How are you? Man, I'm super. How is life treating you? I'm treating life very great. Life doesn't treat me. I live life. Life doesn't leave me. Everything is working out well. Kanabaya Kosa. It's a thought. Out of the abundance of your being. So the mentality of success is what produce the result of success that people see. The mentality of success produces the output of success. The mentality of success is the factory from where success is produced. The mentality of success is the factory from where success is produced. Without that mentality, you can never produce success. You don't produce pure water with shoemaker machine. Do you? You don't. They are machines. But Piotr has Piotr machines. Without the mentality, we call it in uh, computer science, garbage in, garbage out. So if there's garbage inside you, you can't produce any good thing. You can only produce treasures when there are treasures inside you. Let the going ons in your life be success driven. I may success. You may fail an exam. You have not failed life. You have not failed life. Abraham Lincoln failed about 13 times. But he, he didn't feel the success mentality. It's inside him. It's inside him. Listen to that thing you gave me, Anosaz nigga. He failed in many, many things. But he emerged with the proofs of success. Which means success lies deep inside him. Success is a DNA that produces our life. It's a DNA coding that produces our living. 
if you don't cultivate sex, you know, success mentality, you will never get there. How do I get that success mentality? Of course, scriptures. Because scriptures exist, I tell you every day, to show us two things. Who God is, what God can do, and then who we are, what we can do. So you cultivate your success mentality through scriptures. What is God saying about you? Whatever God says you can do, you can do it, whether you cannot do it or not. Yes. It, whatever God tells, says you are, you are the thing. Whether somebody agree or does not agree. Agree. Whether somebody, you don't need the approval of people, though. Just agree with God and approve yourself. Agree with God and approve yourself. If you wait for men to agree with you, you'll be grounded. And you'll be grounded. Agree with God and approve yourself. If you don't say you are, nobody will say you are. I am. That was the greatest statement in the Bible. I am. I am. I am. I am. Jesus came here. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am God. They say, ah, no, this one is too much. They carry this one to stone. You say, ah, ah, ah. I'm only repeating God. I am. I am. So you need that mentality. It is out of his mentality. He was thinking far above them. Thinking far above them. Thinking in the generation where we are thinking the globe, people are still thinking they are modest cooking pot. Cooking pot. We are talking of fetching nations. They are thinking of inheritance. My father left one corner somewhere. Let me also go and share it with my brothers. He yo, he left three rooms. You are 15 children. <laughs> three rooms. And you are 15 children. So, it became, it, it became the, my, an issue of the soul of the fittest. So, somebody passed one dark one and killed one. Also kill one. Also kill one. Also kill one. They killed themselves and then at the end of the day, nothing remained again for them. That family squashed. When we are talking about affecting the globe on a global scale, they are thinking of their mother's cooking pots. Cooking pots. Cooking pots. Cooking pots. That's a failure. Not because he has already arrived at failure. Or no, he has already failed because he lacked the mentality, the code of success. Mentality. Very powerful code. So you cultivate it by looking into the world. Then by listening to men. Observing men. Observing man. The code of mentality. Very powerful code. I read that book. I always tell you this story. I read that book, Making Maximum Impact on a one inch mattress. Say one inch. You know, one inch mattress. People are sleeping on the 12 inches, 13 inches, 6 inches today. One inch mattress. When you lift it, the whole mattress showers itself on the floor. If you lift it, you see the dust, you know, the residue of the mattress. So, every day you lift it, it residues. So, you don't lift it again. We leave it like that. I read that book lying on that mattress. My entire world turned. I began to speak unspeakable things. I began to think unthinkable things. I saw my actuality and then it formed my mentality. What do you see? What do you see? Read book, I won't read. Listen to messages, I won't listen. Study Bible, I won't study. I can't help you. No, I can't help you again. I can't help you. I can't help you. When you give me those documentaries, I sit down. I sit down as a hungry, voracious man to listen and to watch. Why? 
whatever made them succeed their days if i apply it i will see the success that I apply. where do did they stand that make them have that level of result in life if i can stand there i will see them life doesn't change only people change the formula of life is the same under all circumstances the formula of life never changes work hard work smart you will be rich physically yes you have money whether in the 15th century first century 47th century is the same thou shall serve the lord shall bless is the same under all circumstances under any race doesn't change the formula of life doesn't change. Life never changes. Only people change. Only people change. So listen to messages. You, anybody who give me messages that lifts me up. That's the, you see, give me anything. doesn't ap- appeal to me. Give me books. Ah! On my bed. Don't buy me car. Buy me books. Ah! Books. You buy me books. All my inter- Because with the books I can create a car. All my intestines are boiling. My reverend, reverend Abed was there on my birthday last, you know, I think last week or so. He said, what could, should I give to my brother? This is my brother. Brother, what should I give? He likes his books. He gave me the book. I said, wow. Thank you, sir. If he had given me 10 Ghana, 100 Ghana, 20 Ghana, I would have exhausted the seeds. Books. You give me some documentaries. Ay, 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 ay. You have made my day. I will spend night watching it. Documentaries. Not movies, documentaries. He gave me one on uh, how they call it, KFC. Is it you know, which uh, McDonald's? Ah! I I wore that thing three times, three times, three times. In fact, three times. Yeah. What does he know? I don't know. Oh, what does he know? See one man. Ah, McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. Oh, I began to watch and I watch and I watch and I watch. I watch. I watch. If I can know what he knows, I will be doing what he's doing. But you sit at home pressing Facebook as if you, you created it. People do Facebook as if they are the one editing it. You know, they are upgrading it. <laughs> they do as if they are upgrading it. Every second they are on Facebook. Every second on WhatsApp. Somebody's creation, you are consuming it. Why would you consume your own creation? The code of mentality. You capture your mentality from these sources. If you ever admire anybody, two things. Check out on the books he has read and the ones he has written. When I'm listening to my father, Bishop Odego, and my mentors, when they mention a book, they say, in 1973, I read this book. I say, eh? I write it down. I go and look for it. Eh? You don't know? <laughs> I go and look for it. Oh, my bed, my wife asked me, what crush I give? I say, give me books. Ah! Books. You know books? So, because I have some books on my phone that I'm looking for in Ghana, I've not seen it. I look for it in all the bookshops that I know in Ghana, I've not seen it. So I said, hey, please, for my better package, oh, this book, <laughs> this book, this book. So she sent me from London, it's coming. London, you know, when you go to London, you buy suit and shoe, me and own books. If I can know what those people know, I'll create the shoes. Because I want to culture a mentality. Somebody say, I speak as if I'm Methuselah. I say, yes. The ancient of this, no, Methuselah is too young. The ancient of this lives here. Because I, when you rub mine with the great, you cultivate the mentality of the great. You cultivate it. Sit at home, chatting on phone as if your life depends on it. Where am I? She's just my <laughs> Well, That one was not in my notes, so don't worry. Let me go to my notes now. First one is what? The mentality code. What is in your mind? If you listen to those who talk down on you, you are nothing. You won't do anything. 
you are not you are a failure you you feel yourself with that you come to destiny sorry, i tell you things that will lift you up you can do it it's possible you can do it it's possible because it's possible i'm not trying to get too excited it's possible if anybody can be great you can be great it's not they didn't have they don't have two heads and four eyes they are not demons they are not spirits they are human beings they are human beings they are human beings number two code you must have or you must engage is the divine alignment code the divine alignment code divine alignment code hmm. all said and done greatness in the kingdom is an expression of the greatness of god in man they are no great men they are only men ordinary men reflecting the great god in dimensions so they are no great men greatness in the kingdom is only a reflection of the great god to your generation they are no great men in life they are no self-made men in the kingdom they are not they are not me i'm a self-made man oh boy you can't make yourself because you can't keep yourself alive he said what do you have that you have not received what do you have that you have not? who make thee to differ from another what do you have that you have not? so whatever we hold in our hand that as is for us we only received it anything you have you received so why do you do as if you didn't receive it you do as if you are the alpha and omega of your life it's a lie you are only a beneficiary of somebody's existence god divine alignment code divine alignment is when a man positions himself as a tool for the delivery of the desires of only have. when a man positions himself as a tool for god for the fulfillment and the delivery of the desires of god so god has a desire when you position yourself for god to fulfill that desire through you then you will say you are divinely aligned you have aligned yourself with god witches and wizards are only aligned with the devil so satan could operate his wickedness through them that's all so you need divine alignment as a code to ever birth the fruit of success it is when a man yield himself to god as a slave of the will of god on the earth divine alignment when a man yield himself as a slave of god For the living of the will of God on the earth. Jesus Christ went to the garden of Gethsemane and was praying, Oh God, can't you take this cup away from me? God said, yeah, I can if you want. He said, No, 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 no. Not my will, but your will be done. Not my will. But... So Jesus became a slave of the will of God on the earth. Is he a success? Is he a success? Is he a success? So why can't you follow him? Not I want to. What does he want to do? That's divine alignment. It's not about going to church. No, 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 no. It's about it's about aligning yourself to God as a tool, a conduit through whom God can express Himself. I thought he understands what is man. A three power pack, you know, session. It's on, it's on YouTube. You can go and get it. You are a reflector of a dimension of God on the earth. So align yourself. It is said in science that the moon does not generate a light of its own. The moon is just a stone. A black dust stone. But it only aligns itself at an angle that reflects the sun's light to the earth. So the sun is generating the heat and the light the moon is only reflecting it so we say ah the moonlight it's not the moonlight it's a reflected light 
So when a man aligns himself, now the sun wants to shine on the earth at night, but it cannot shine there and here at the same time because of the rotational and, and the, the, the revolving nature of, of the earth around the moon, around the sun, Abi, whichever, Jesus mighty name, because of the revolving nature of the earth. So when the sun shines, you know, the earth face, the sun here is day. But this part is dark. But the moon positions itself in an angle that the sun light hits the stone, the moon, and then reflects on the side of the disk. It's called night. So you have moonlight. So anytime you see that the, 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 the atmosphere is dark at night, there is no light. We call it half moon. We call it full moon, quarter moon. It's not quarter, the moon is not sliced into pieces. It's just that that the the complete stone called the complete of the moon have not reflect co- reflected the fullness of the light of the sun so only an aspect of the moon is showing the light of the sun but when the moon aligns completely that the sunlight reflects on it we see the fullness of the beauty of the moon the world can only see the fullness of your beauty when you align completely Completely to God. Completely to God. All this one leg in, one leg out, Christian, is why you are you are the way you are. That's all. All this one leg in, one leg out. You are a half moon, a, a one-tenth moon. One-tenth moon. One-tenth moon. Today you are with God. God, I love you. I'm with you. Tomorrow, ah, God, you are not doing well, so I'm going to somebody else. <laughs> That's a one tenth, a one millionth moon. <laughs> when a man aligns completely, these are kingdom codes. Divine alignment. Your success is a reflection of God on you that the world sees. Oh boy, oh girl, this man is great. No, you are not great. You are only reflecting the great God. So they can see. They can see. Praise the Lord. Divine alignment code. When God met Joshua, he didn't ask him of his plans. He immediately gave him his own plans. Joshua 1, 1 to 2. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, the Lord spoke unto Joshua. Joshua! My servant Moses is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan. Thou and all these people. Hey, he, God was just telling his plans. Joshua said, mm-hmm. Bro, please, 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 please. Bros. Bros. Wait. I have my plans. He could have said that. God said, Oh, sorry. Okay, what's your plan? You, okay, go ahead with your plan. You would have looked for somebody else. All the 70 elders had plans of their own. So they did their own plans. I believe God my house, visit them, visited them. They said, no, 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 no. Come on, we, want, we have our own plans. God said, okay, oh. okay, oh. okay, oh. sorry. Because God will never force his plan on your life. No. He, he said, I stand at the door knocking. If you open, I'll come in. If you say, I'll not open. Okay, thank you very much. The next person. That's why I, I don't force myself trying to convert somebody. Jesus loves you. He died for your sins. You don't need to live in this kind of life. God can help you out. Follow me to church. Come on, but I don't like. Leave this your God thing. I've tried it before. Oh, sorry. Somebody else. Jesus loves you. <laughs> he died for your sins. He can help you. You need to leave this kind of like this. Come on, but then. Judge me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got somebody else. Jesus loves you. Come with me. No, I don't have time waiting. Jesus loves you. I sat in class with Tati Travers. Jesus loves you. They say, come on, so that's it. I'm a pastor's son. I've tried that he's not working, so I've left the church. Thank you very much. Stay in the world. 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 Telling you to be born again is trying to create for you a glorious life. You don't like it, stay there. Keep driving Uber. <laughs> Somebody's car. When God can give you a beautiful life, and I'm telling you, you want to do yeah, yeah. Sit down there. Keep struggling. Be stealing, pa- uh, be stealing, you know, cow owners money. Day in day out. Anytime somebody bring you the gospel of salvation, he's trying to help you. Uh, ah, he's trying to help you. 
I'm going to say, I'm going to come to church. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to come to church. 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 Shut up! Go and die with the devil. He said, ah, is that how to evangelize? I said, thank you very much. Now you know. <laughs> I gave somebody a flyer. He just got a flyer, squeeze it, squeeze it, and put it on the floor. I said, hey, come, 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 come. The next time we try this thing, when I catch you, <laughs> do you know that this morning? He said, oh, but I don't like it. I said, I was angry. I was angry. I gave him a flyer. Tell me, please, I won't call it. He's squeezing in the uh, floor. Where some dirty, just some dirty box. I it was 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 looking like was looking like a fool. I I grab myself. Next time you try that thing, if I get you, he said, "But like, if I slap your face, they can't say God help you." I'm evangelizing. You think we are begging to be saved? Go and die with the devil. You like? If I, you will see hell. I don't beg people. To be say, please now be born again now. Oh, please now. Oh no, 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 no. Jesus never begged anybody. On the cross, those two things where he never spoke a word to them until they say, Oh, Jesus save me. Abaya. Beg you to be saved. Uh, when you are benefiting, you look at me and call me. The one I like to cry that benefiting. I they come to call me before. Now, oh, my brother, you will give me to Jesus Christ working, so call it ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, forget that story. I don't beg people to be saved. Until you are ready to yield yourself to God as a tool in his hand, you are never ready to succeed God's way. Never ready. It got to a point that Israel wanted a king. Now, God was their king, but they wanted a king now. In First Samuel chapter 14, chapter 8 rather, they wanted a king. Chapter 8, verse 4 and 5. He said, give us a king that he may rule over us like the other nations. The wisdom that Saul should apply is that God has been our king all these years. Now, these people are rebelling against this God that they wanted a king. Now, if God is putting me as a king, God only wanted a representation. So, I will only be as their king, but in myself, I know God is their king. So, I'm only an errand boy for God. It's like they send you now as a branch manager to a place. You, are, you don't have your own will. You are only representing the owner of that company. But Saul said it's a lie. I'm the king. I am king. I am king. So he began to do his own thing. God said, go and kill all the Amalekites. Kill everybody. He said, no, 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 come on. You are in heaven. I'm on the earth. You are, you are, God, you are king of the heavens. I'm king on the earth. So you see, I will save the king of the Amalekites. And then, I will also save the goats and the camels uh, to enjoy myself with it. To sacrifice. And you see, by so doing, he disaligned with God. Therefore, God rejected him. He disaligned with God and God rejected him. And God said, I have found, I said, I, said, I said, I have found a man after my own heart who shall do all my desire. So David was a man after the heart of God who has aligned himself to do the will of God. Any man who aligns himself to be a conduit to perform the will of God will cheaply record the proofs of success in his life. So second, the kingdom is not doing your thing. It's in aligning to do his thing. God wants to invade the space of the earth. He's looking for men to ride upon. Will he find you? One very powerful statement that this guy, this guy made uh, Joel Houston of his song. He said, We have decided to lay down our own agendas and pick up his own agenda. Success is when you decide to lay down your own agenda and pick up his agenda for your life. Success. What is the alignment you need? Cultivate it. 
Don't wait till the things become porous. Then you start saying, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. You know something singing in my heart now? Eh? You know something in my heart now? All my life you have been faithful. <laughs> All my life you have been so, so good. She's well. God is a good girl. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. God is a good God. So, Saul failed not because he was a bad man. No, he had good intentions. But his good intention was in disalignment with God's intentions. So, he failed. In 1 Samuel 15, verse 2, God said, you go and, verse 2 and 3, God says, you go and kill the Amalekite and kill Agag the king. God said, I have found a man because you have chosen to disobey me. I have rejected you. He spared Agag. He spared the goods. He wanted to sacrifice. And God said, do I have as much pleasure in sacrifice as in obedience? I want a man who will obey me, not a man who will be doing his own thing. That's one of the greatest challenges in marriage. Yes. This obedience thing. No, I have my own thing to do. My own plans. My own plans. No, no, no. My wife, let's do this. Stop that nonsense. I have my life. If you have your life, don't marry. Don't marry. John go ahead and come down. Man is called the head of the home. Head. You know what I'm Head. You know what I'm Head. Head. He talks, he talks, he talks, he talks, he talks. Better you go to father's house. You go. If you call me, I won't pray. I won't pray. Pastor, please come. I won't pray. That's what I'm telling you now, so you can do the right thing. Stop that friendship. No, he's my best friend. Stop it. He's no good for. Stop. He's my best friend. Ah, you marry your best friend. Simple, simple truth of scriptures. People will not take it. They think I have a life. I'm a woman of my own capacity. Thank you very much. Marry yourself. That man is called head. What the head can see because he carried the eye. That's why the four of all the five sensory organs are in the head. In the head. Why? That's what makes the man. The eye, the nose, the tongue, the ears. But no, there are some heads are very bad heads. <laughs> very, very bad heads. <laughs> <You know? laughs> if you're a bad head, please don't come and kill somebody's daughter. Yeah, some people have bad heads, troublesome heads. You know, one time I saw some uh, thing, you know, they posted somewhere, uh, they, they put five African presidents together and then put uh, Obama there. And they said, it is, they said that, you know, uh, how they call it, uh, two are better than one. They said, but no, no, no. All these five heads are not, are not better than this one head. <laughs> <laughs> and see, all these five heads are not better than this. But see, there are two this, that, that. This way. Uh, African presidents are wonderful. All their heads are not better than some president. One president in the West didn't know their heads. Because they are not thinking straight. African presidents are wonderful. I love them, sir. Praise God. Alignment. Don't rebel against God. No. Align yourself to Him. There is nothing you want to do in life that to bring you great, amazing results in success that God does not have it covered. Release yourself to Him. When God says, Give me, give Him. Now, if I ask you of uh, give me one Ghana and you have it, you quickly give it to me because I can't return you one Ghana. No, I'll return like 10 Ghana. Maybe if I vest, I can give you 100 Ghana cities. But I will not vest. The man will not vest. So you get 10 Ghana, I will take it and I will leave you. <laughs> D 
divine alignment is a man partnering with God to execute all the desires of God on the earth. Divine alignment. A man partnering with God to execute the desires of God. So, whatever you are doing in life, ask God, how does he partner with God to execute his desire? How? If you don't, that is why people, what? God spoke some very powerful thing to me just this week. He said, anytime you give to a man of God, you are partnering with that anointing. Ah. And he said, do you know what partner, you know what partnership is? I said, yes, I know, sir. He said, partnership is, in partnership, whatever you benefit, I benefit. So, one for you, one for me. Two, that's partnership. Two for you, two for me. Three for you, three for me. Four, so, as long as I input into that anointing, I have become a beneficiary of the happiness in that anointing. I can't miss it. I can't miss it. I can't miss it. That is... So, when you become a partner with God, and then you are using what you are doing as a tool, your life as a tool, eh? as a tool to advance his cause, what is, whatever that appertains in God rushes through your life. You can't miss it. That's a simple explanation of Matthew 63. Use your life for me and I will give you multiple things back in your life. Give me your time and I will give you a life. That's it. Partnership. That divine alignment. What do pastors do? They give God his, their life. Hmm? In turn, God moves everything to benefit them. People buy them car, buy them house, buy them everything, buy them shoes, buy them shirt, buy them everything. What? They are giving, they are partnering with God to execute the desire of God. So success products or the products of success become cheap in their life. The level of their yieldedness to God to execute the desire of God determines the, 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 you know, the, the level of material acquisitions and greatness they attract to themselves. So, if you yield just a quarter of your life to God, you become a quarter moon. If you yield half, you become half moon. You yield one tenth, you become one tenth moon. If you yield ten, you become a full moon. Full moon. You see how full moon is very beautiful? That's how your life becomes very beautiful. When you align with God, Making yourself a conduit through which God can execute all his desires on earth. We saw that play in the life of a man called Cyrus. God wanted to build the city of Jerusalem, the temple there. All the Christians, in those they didn't want to do it. All the Israelites were sleeping. Nobody was ready. Now look at when Cyrus came, look at it. Second Chronicles 36. Verse 22 and 23. Now, in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in which year? The man just assumed the throne. In the first year. First year. That the word of the Lord spoken by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished. The Lord stirred all the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put Jesus in writing, saying, Thus says king of Cyrus, King, uh, Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdom of the earth has the Lord of God of heaven given me, and he has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah, which is who is there among you of all his people. The Lord his God be with him, and let him go up and build. The same thing is Ezra chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Ezra 1, 1 to 4, the same thing. So the man came on the throne. He yielded himself as a tool. Some people, God is staring their heart. They refuse. God, I no agree. Ah, yeah, yeah, no agree. God said, look, that village church, they are going buy them organ. No, God, I no agree. What do you mean? Organ for what? They should use their hand to clap. I say, 
God said, buy them all. Okay, buy them tambourine. Oh, no, 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 no. They should use their hand. That's why he gave them hand. Natural musical instrument. God said, pay that boy school fees. Oh, where is his father? Where is his mother? Where is his father's mother? He gave money to that man who is, ah, oh, no, God, forget about it. God, forget it. Okay, 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 okay. God is tearing their heart. Their heart has become very hard. You know, those days we have a, a machine, you know, grand, you know, cornmeal machine. The oil one, the diesel one. Have you seen some before? Have you seen before? That you put the this inside. You turn like this. Turn like this. Before you finish turning, man, your hand is weak. <laughs> some people have not seen some before. Because they are in Accra. It was there in my village plenty. Eh? Plenty. If you've seen it before, then you're in the village. Where you are in Accra is a village. <laughs> if you are in Teshi, you are in a village. You are not in any Accra. That's village. <laughs> Teshi is not the city, it's a village. It's a village. It's a village. It's a village. Osu. It, not Osu. This was at the Osu. <laughs> Osfor Street. Hey, that's a, that's a city. That's Accra city. You are in this other side. All this. Uh, at 2 and 20 she said, <laughs> you are in a village. <laughs> you are in a village. <laughs> Because of that, God told called Cyrus, my anointed, Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Why? He aligned himself with the desire of God. You will harvest the reward of success cheaply when you align with God. Aligning with God is the code of success. Is the code of success. So when you stand in that place, you can boast of greatness cheaply. The perspective of men is where they stand. Yes. Somebody asked me, tell me now that you know it's dark outside, but where I am is very bright. So I don't see what they are seeing. Praise God. I can't see what they are seeing. Why? Perspective is determined by where you stand. Where you stand. So stand with God. Let your life be all about God. Be pl- you want to succeed as they call it in life partner with God let you and God work hand in hand whatever bows to him bows to you whatever he commands you command why? you are partners together but when you are on your own you are on your own use your gift to partner God Use your strength to partner God. Use your everything to partner God. That is what will bring out the result or success out of it. You, you're an accountant. Use it in your church to do accounting. You can do whatever. Use it there. You are a musician. Don't let them pay you for singing in your local church. No. They may pay you. You know what they are doing? They are crippling your greatness. They are crippling it. You may not know. It's not their intention. No. You ask for money. Okay, collect money. Collect money. I used to do the accounting for my church before. 2012. They wanted to employ me. I said, no, no, don't employ me, please. Don't employ me. I don't like. I will come to the accounting, do the book, everything, and then go home. Without payment to for almost a year. Please. It's cheap to express success on the earth if only we understand the codes. Today, one is what? The code of mentality. Number two is what? The code of divine alignment. Align with God. Let your mind be full of success thoughts. Don't think failure. Don't. Don't. Even if it seems like you are failing, don't think failure. Think success. Because your life moves in the direction of your dominant thoughts. And number two, align with God. Rise to your faith. Lift your voice. Father, I receive grace to operate these codes, these two codes today. Lift your voice. Father, I receive grace 
to pray these two quotes. I receive the grace of God. I receive the grace of God. Father, I receive your grace to pray these two quotes. I receive your grace to pray these two quotes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your grace to pray these two codes. The code of divine alignment, the code of mentality. I receive grace. I receive grace. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Please take your seats. Give a clap of honor to the Lord. It's offering time. Please package your offering, whatever you came to serve the Lord with. And as you do that, rise on your feet. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him the honor. Appreciate him for the opportunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the praise for another opportunity to change our level financially. For as you have said, there is more blessing in giving than receiving. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Our family online, the giving portal has been displayed. You can also give. Please, let's have a seat. You have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. Hey. With every breath that I am able, I will sing the goodness of God. You know, you can't sing it. You can't sing it. Eh? You can't sing it. Praise God. Ima cannot sing. Ima is allergic to singing. If Ima sing, the singing will lift. He doesn't sing, he doesn't dance. Do you dance? Do you sing? No. Praise God. <laughs> who, who, who doesn't sing, who doesn't dance? Who is human being in that? <laughs> Only Ima is from Jupiter. Praise the Lord. Rise to your face. Lift your voice and thank him as you close. Lift your voice and thank him as you close. Lift your voice and give him praise. Lift your voice and give him glory. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Understand this in that uh, word hearing and word understanding minus word application equals zero. Say zero. It is word hearing, word understanding, word application that brings results. So when you hear these things and you understand them, apply them. Cultivate that mentality. It's a code. It's a code. Nobody, if I stand anywhere, I don't feel inferior. No, no, no. I am so consumed with that kind of thought. That kind of thought. Now, okay, I can't talk. I must talk. There's nothing you say I can't contribute. No. Praise God. Because in my own field, me too, I'm, 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 I'm bringing something. Yes, I'm bringing something. And secondly, align with God. Let your life be a tool in the hand of God. Be, don't just be a church-going Christian. Be a useful child in the hand of God. Be useful to God. Some people are so useless to God. They only consume energy oxygen. And their nose is very big. He can't consume it. If it's not going well, the woman about. <laughs> they are just liabilities. When you are born again, you are a liability to God. Yes, because you are you have become his responsibility now. It is when you now accept kingdom responsibility that you are an asset to God. 
Yes. So as you come here now, you're not an asset. Whatever you go and do with these things, that makes you an asset to God. That is it. So you go and then uh, you can't pray for anything. You only pray for yourself. You can't win no soul. You, your life is not, you have a business, you, you cannot give anything to any, 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 any church, any, any, any ministry needs, any ministry demands. What's your problem? Somebody is printing 300,000 flyers. One man. He doesn't have two heads. One man. To print 100,000, to print 10,000 flyers in Ghana is 1,005 Ghana cities. To print 10,000. He's printing 100,000. He's printing 300,000 pieces. So calculate it yourself. All your money is for you. Is for you. Nobody will fight you, but you see something? You are just a liability. You are not partnering with God in anything. But Sally come, ah, I must do hair. I must buy shoe. I must. Um, what's the remaining? Even tax crack God, I will give you 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%. <laughs> Offering. Okay, let me put one once in all the envelopes. That's a salary of 2,000 cities. So. Oh, I'll give you offering of one Ghana, one Ghana. God, you are rich. You don't need money. So you are rich. So, uh, minimum service, you not go because people you give offering. So you dodge it. <laughs> you dodge. Tight 4%. God, cry. You have money. I won't give you anything again. You'll give me <laughs> in your pocket. No. You are a liability to God. You are not an asset. Let your life flow out to the kingdom. Flow out to humanity. That is living. Boy, this boy gives. Eh? This man. Yes. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I told us from the beginning that this year is for your financial abundance. And as added to that, sacrifice is the heel upon which that right. So if you are not sacrificing nothing, you can't see it. It's a dream, you are quoting it. Lift your hands and appreciate you close. Father, we give you praise and glory. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed of God. Be blessed of God in the name of Jesus Christ. As you go, your hands are blessed. Whatever you touch in a week, they are blessed. Whatever you do, they are blessed. Your walk with God will never go dry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember that this week, from tonight, uh, the prayer altar is on, prayer altar is on from 12 a.m. all through to 1. Please, let's get in here the word of God for the month of November in the name of Jesus the Christ. Let's get in here the word of God. Remember, those people who sleep on the altar, too, God help you. I've been seeing you. Those who, those who snore, I've been hearing you. Hallelujah. God help you in the name of Jesus Christ. And then, uh, on Sunday, we are on again here. Continue the series. Success quotes. You are blessed. You are going places. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, and we shall do the praise of Allah. Pray for another month. And in peace. Destiny Sunday. Say it boldly. Destiny Sunday. If you know where you are, you are. If you don't know, you are not. You are not. Destiny Sunday. God bless you. Good night and bye bye. Oh, all my life you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing. Uh, wait, where are they going? Uh, 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 uh.